Hi, I'm David Dodge. This week we're off to Camrose, Alberta, where they're using sewage to grow willows, and then the biomass from the willows they use to heat their buildings. Dealing with and treating human waste in small rural communities is stinky business. After it's been treated in waste lagoons, the effluent is normally pumped into a nearby creek, river, or stream. Richard Krieger of the Canadian Forest Service has been working for the past six years on ways of treating this waste with willow plantations. I've, I've heard stories from some municipalities where the, um, they know where the water is on the stream after they start discharging their lagoon because they get phone calls about the odor as the water is moving downstream to, to whatever the end point is. In, other, in another instance, a community was, was uh, uh, when they discharged, unfortunately they had a fish kill and uh, if, they had the up, if, if they didn't need to discharge and they were putting it on a willow plantation, that situation wouldn't have occurred. It cost them money. It cost them $50,000 in fines and $1.5 million to upgrade their, their, their lagoons to meet uh, uh, discharge standards. Krieger's solution is simple pump that waste into densely planted willow plantations. The willows grow fast and high, they sprout up again like weeds when you chop them down, and once you cut them down you've got a sustainable biomass resource. Willows grow, uh, depending on the site, uh, could be two, two meters, six feet a year. And so, uh, for example, this plantation here is, is three years old and you can see it's well over my head. Um, the harvesting, they're planted in rows, and the equipment has been designed to harvest the equipment in, in those rows. The whole process caught the attention of Steve Gerlitz. He's the administrator for Camrose County, which is about an hour southeast of Edmonton, Alberta. We have a hamlet uh, of Ohatton that's about a population of 300 people, uh, just about six kilometers east of Camrose. And we have a lagoon system out there for those 300 people and basically we're using the effluent from that lagoon system to grow the willows in which we will harvest them every three years, bring the chips into the county office, put them into the silo system and from there they will go into the boiler system to heat our office. They're essentially growing their own substitute for natural gas and treating their waste at the same time. As an added bonus, they're also no longer discharging their treated wastewater into Dried Meat Lake Creek, which ends up into Dried Meat Lake, Camrose's only source of drinking water. We're very, very excited about this project. We're the first municipality in Alberta to do it, to actually close the loop. We've got a lot of municipalities coming to look at, at what we've done, and a lot of those municipalities that have come to look at our system now are implementing their own systems. The projects are affordable as well. In Camrose, their new, efficient wood-fired boiler replaced two aging natural gas systems at a cost of $209,000. Turns out the cost of the willows is quite low as well. The land next to these waste lagoons comes pretty cheap. While Camrose decided to burn the biomass for heat, it can also be burned for electricity or used in a composting operation. Krieger is also working on other uses for the willows as well. I'm very optimistic that we'll see this widely applied because we're getting lots of interest from municipalities, rural municipalities, small ones that are looking for creative and innovative solutions to their problems. A lot of them are farm communities, they know about growing things and they understand that the, that the potential and, they, and I think they see the integration like Camrose County did between the wastewater treatment, the biomass production and then an end use that, that uh, that gives them another opportunity in the end. To learn more about how small rural municipalities are turning their poop into energy, head on down to greenenergyfutures.ca. We'd love to hear from you on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.